Hello, I'm Nick Poulin, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the most famous and historic Confederate Leech and Rigdon revolvers with over 100 years of documented collection history belonging to Colonel Harry Gilmore of the 2nd Maryland Cavalry. This revolver is in the standard configuration of a Confederate copy of the Colt 3rd Model Dragoon in Navy caliber and size, with a pinball loading lever latch and no capping channel in the recoil shield made by Leach and Rigdon of Greensboro, Georgia in 1863. This Leach and Rigdon revolver was purchased direct from the Gilmore family about 1900 by pioneer Confederate collector, author, and historian Richard Stewart. He then had the commemorative inscription applied, Colonel Harry Gilmore, 2nd Maryland Cav CSA, and published this in the Magazine of Antique Firearms, Volume 3, Number 1, in December of 1911. This was one of only three Confederate revolvers displayed at the Metropolitan Museum of Art exhibit of Great Colt Revolvers in 1942, and pictured and described in the Catalog of Lone Exhibition of Percussion Colts from 1836 through 1873, published in 1942. This revolver has been in only the hands of three collectors in the past 120 years. Harry Gilmore was a famous Confederate commander who penned his memoir while held prisoner at Fort Warren in 1865. The book Four Years in the Saddle was a bestseller and published by Harper, New York in 1866. This revolver remains in beautiful condition and is 100% original, with all matching serial numbers. The smooth gray iron has forging flaws, crisp markings, and the finest maker stamp you will ever see. Rarely is the L fully struck. It has strong mechanics and a crisp rifled bore. If you like this video and want to learn more about historic Civil War firearms, then visit our website at PoolinAuctions.com. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.